Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Ann, it was great to see you out at the house today. What a beautiful house, uh, great location. Uh, let's go inside. Let's take a look at the den fireplace. It's a wood-burning fireplace. Hey, uh, some of the mortar is uh, starting to soften up between the uh, bricks here and these uh, mortar joints. Pretty standard um, wear and tear. Uh, nothing needs to be done at this time. Remember that wood-burning fireplaces are cleaned and inspected every other year. So every other year we revisit this, make sure it's not getting any worse. At some point in time, uh, repairs can be made, but do not need to be made at this time. Working damper, flu system looks good, no problems there. Hey, if we go up on top, we'll notice that both the chimneys are lacking a cricket. Here's what a cricket looks like. Code required in the state of North Carolina. Any chimney that's broader than 30 inches must have this cricket to help avoid uh, water leaks. You see what happens here is the water's pouring down the roof. It hits the back of the chimney, runs back up underneath the shingles and causes a leak. So with a cricket, it goes around the chimney. Code required in this state and uh, for a good 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 reason uh concrete crown up here looks good no problems living room fireplace uh has a working set of vented gas logs i drew a little arrow arrow here to the manual operation counterclockwise turns the logs on clockwise of course shuts them down it is a piloted unit so uh Really easy peasy to operate. Dampers on all vented gas log sets must remain open 24 seven. Your plumber will likely tell you that you absolutely need a block in there to can't prevent you from closing it. And that is correct. Uh, these gas logs produce a lot of carbon monoxide. You certainly don't want it to get into the house. If you close the damper, forget to open it, start the logs up you will have a big problem in there. So must have a, a must keep the damper open 24 seven for your protection. Flu system looks good. These are cobwebs in here. That's all that is right there. Uh, let's go to the outside again. No cricket behind here. Crown looks fine. No problems with that. Folks uh, have any questions for me at all. Give me a call 704 Five two six sixty three forty eight. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.